alerting you to severe weather. People in Beaver Creek thinking back to the Memorial Day night tornadoes when twisters damaged and destroyed thousands of homes across our viewing area. The New Center 7's Jim Otte has the story of a man giving thanks for surviving the storm and he hopes his neighbors can soon finish their own repairs. We're in a neighborhood in Beaver Creek on Ellsworth Drive. Everywhere you look, it's a different story. Just across the street, this house has been redone, fixed up next door. It looks good until you get to some of the others. A lot of these houses now still being rebuilt all these months later. Navy retiree Gary Guilenfeld was at home when the tornado struck. He vividly remembers that night, the lightning and heavy winds. And this is what it looked like when the storm cleared out. Lots of heavy damage. My house took a direct hit, and uh, I, I pretty much knew for sure that it was going to be written up as a total loss. And here's what the house looks like today, back in good shape, and in the hands of a new owner. The insurance company settled up with me rather quickly, and we were blessed for that happening, and uh, we were able to purchase another home within about 30 days. The city, though, has plenty of other families who are still hurting. Beaver Creek Mayor Bob Stone drives through the damaged neighborhoods, checking properties on a regular basis. I try to do it weekly, and I'm looking for things like we're seeing right in front of us right now, where the house has been sitting like it's not getting any attention, but then all of a sudden new trusses show up. We found despite the high wind today, some repair work was underway at some homes. Stone says the city isn't sure how many properties still need to be cleaned up or demolished, but they'd like to find out soon. At the beginning of the year, I think we need to make sure that we do know exactly what properties uh, you know, still need help. We saw a lot of flags flying in neighborhoods here. Gary's hoping people are keeping up their optimism for the future. Now with a new home, also in Beaver Creek, Gary's family is grateful for how things have turned out for them. My wife and I thank uh, the good Lord at least twice a day, and probably more often than that for watching over us. Gary's not only thankful for the good fortune of his family, but hoping that for his neighbors as well, very soon they will be able to get back to normal. In Beaver Creek, Jim Otte, New Center 7.